guys, my name's Georgia and I'm one of the keepers here at Auckland Zoo. And today we're going to feed our long fin eels. Some lovely chicken. <laughs> Um, their powerful bite um, and also um, their good sense of smell but also the fact that their eyesight isn't that great. Um, they are primarily nocturnal hunters um, so it did take them a while to figure out that the chicken frame was actually there. So these are long fin eels, so these are native to New Zealand and they were also known as tuna. Um, so what's interesting about these guys is they have a really um, complex life cycle. Um, so they will spend the majority of their lives in our freshwater rivers, our streams, our lakes. But when they're ready to breed, they actually leave the freshwater and they will head out to sea. It's a really arduous journey, battling the currents, and they go right out to Tonga. But luckily their, their babies will come back to New Zealand eventually. Um, they'll be pushed along by the currents. It will take them about 15 months to reach here, and then they will find their way to our water systems again. actually part of the quota management system in New Zealand uh, for freshwater fishing. Um, so it is really important for us to stick to those rules um, to make sure that we aren't overfishing, um, to make sure that this population is sustainable for us in the future. So just a reminder, when you are here and you are getting nice up and close to these guys, try to keep your fingers out of the water as they do bite. Um, they're not doing it maliciously, but they do think that you have food. They're quite quirky and they're quite curious. And a lot of people think that they're, they're quite scary and they're quite slimy, but I actually really like them. And they are one of the largest eels in the world and they are exclusively native to New Zealand. So even though they go all the way out to Tonga to breed, um, their babies always find their way back to our river system. So we need to protect them. 